You know, Christy, it really came as no surprise that Republican Dennis Bonin would be elected Speaker of the House. You recall he called us all here to the Capitol in November to announce that he had the votes. And just as we expected, the members did elect him Speaker today. Take a look. There being 147 ayes, zero nays, and pursuant to the Constitution and laws of the state of Texas, I declare the Honorable Dennis Bonin of Brazoria County to be the duly elected Speaker of the House of Representatives of the 86th Legislature. Now, Bonin represents Angleton, which is right outside of Houston. Before he was elected, several members, both Republicans and Democrats, spoke about his leadership, saying they know Bonin will continue the House tradition of members working across the aisle to pass meaningful legislation. And Bonin made it clear the priority of the House this session is to fix school finance. That my passion for education centers on the fact that I grew up a dyslexic kid in a small town at a time when there were almost no options available to students like me. We have an opportunity to tackle our number one priority to fix the state's broken school finance system. Now, before the speaker was elected, the representatives were sworn in, including two new faces for the Austin area delegation. Cheryl Cole, the former mayor pro tem of Austin, and James Tallarico, who becomes the youngest member of the House this session at the age of 29. Now, tomorrow morning, Governor Greg Abbott, Speaker Dennis Bonin, and Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, who will be back in Austin, are all coming together to host a news conference. We expect that they'll talk a little bit about their priorities for this session. Of course, I will be there and bring you details of what happens. Reporting live from the Capitol, Ashley Goodo, KVU News.